Welcome back. So in next month's election, one ballot measure would allow Houston County to collect a 1% lodging tax. Well, Houston County Commission Chairman Brandon Shoup joins us live now to talk about this. Chairman, thanks so much for Glad joining us here. on News Glad 5. So quickly tell us, why do you recommend a yes vote on this amendment? Well, a lot of people, when they go to the, go to the ballot box, they're going to see lodging tax. They're going to see tax, and they're, they're going to think that they're paying it but not one cent of this tax is gonna come out of the pockets of any citizen in Houston County. In fact, this is gonna bring money into the county. A lodging tax, for those people that don't know, is a tax on hotel room stays. Um, and I always tell people, and I'm talking to the gentleman, like if you do something boneheaded and you get kicked out of the house and you have to go rent a hotel room in Dothan, you probably deserve to pay this lodging tax, but as long as you don't get kicked out of the house, you're not gonna pay one cent of this lodging tax. Very interesting. So give us an overview of where this money is going to go and beyond improving recreational facilities. How will this benefit people who work hard every day for their tax dollars? Well, there's only two ways we can spend this money legally. According to this bill, we can only spend this money on recreation improvements and for economic development. Economic development, as, as everybody knows, means jobs. So sometimes we get to participate in, in projects like we're working on a project now. Uh, that could bring about 400 jobs and, and be a, almost a billion dollar economic impact. So we need to have money available for that, but most of this money is gonna be spent on recreation improvements. About $2.6 million is gonna be spent on youth sports facilities. Dothan is blessed that the city of Dothan has outstanding facilities where our kids play sports. But if you look at some of these outlying communities, Wicksburg, Rehoboth, Cottonwood, Ashford, you know, I'm not telling you anything that, that the citizens don't know. Some of those facilities are dilapidated and they need some up uh, they need some upgrades. And this is a way that other people are going to pay for those upgrades. When we go to the beach, we pay a lodging tax. I think it's absolutely fair that when people come to Houston County, they pay a lodging tax that benefits our citizens. So Chairman, you originally wanted another half of a percent, didn't you? I did, I did. But you know, uh, uh, sometimes you have to get what you can take or, or take what you can get and, uh, and that's what we did with that. So I wanted one and a half percent. I was told one was the most that the legislative delegation would support and I'm good with that. It, it, you know, politics and public policy is all about give and take. But Chairman, tell us, you know, with so many concerns about our economy, is this a good time to implement new taxes? Well, it's absolutely a good time for the citizens, citizens of, of Houston County because our citizens, like I said earlier, will not pay this tax. They will benefit from it. So we're going to take this money and we're going to invest in the long-term economic growth of Houston County. We're going to invest in recreational facilities and that's going to mean work for some local contractors. And it's, but, the, but the most important thing is it's going to mean our kids are going to have better facilities to play t-ball, softball, football, basketball, all those sports. And, and we have so many kids that, that sit on a couch and, and with a device in their hands. This, it, now we're going to have opportunities for, for, to get kids off the couch and on the ball field. And I think that it's a worthwhile investment. So in the beginning of this interview, you're pushing to vote yes, but it's a 50-50 chance. You know, do you have concerns that this will be voted down because historically people reject new tax proposals? Absolutely. I think a lot of people are going to go in the ballot box and think that they're going to pay this lodging tax. And that's why, you know, I've asked to come on this program and I go to as many groups as, as possibly I can because I want to explain people like you will not pay this lodging tax. Not one cent of this tax is going to come out of your pocket. In fact, it's going to bring money from outside the county and, and bring it into the county for the benefit of our kids and for the benefit of our economy. Good to know. Chairman Shoup, that's our time. But again, thanks for joining us on News 4 at 5. Thank you.